In the second part of 6.4, we would like to consider inconsistent systems of linear equation. Suppose A is n by n, and uh, this is an inconsistent system. Well, before we've talked about inconsistent system, they have no solutions. So what is there to talk about? Oh, for inconsistent Skin consistent systems, although we cannot find x so that ax equal to b, we would like to find x so that it's as close to b, as close to b as possible. In other words, we would like to find a solution of x such that ax minus b is a minimum. We would like to minimize the distance between ax and b. We want, we want to find an x that will minimize this quantity. Does this problem look very similar to what we have talked about in 6.4, the first part of 6.4? We would like, given a b vector, we would like to find an x so that ax minus b is a minimum. That means ax is as close to b as possible. And this is a vector in the column space of a. So the problem is finding the vector in column space of a that is as close to b as possible. Now does that ring a bell? It is orthogonal projection again, isn't it? X should be chosen such that AX is equal to W, the orthogonal projection of B on the column space of A. Because W is the orthogonal projection of B on the column space of A, so AX equal to W is always consistent. Now, the question would be, is the solution unique or not? If rank A is equal to N, then the solution is unique. If rank A is smaller than N, the solution is not unique. When the solution is not unique, it is often useful in many applications, that's the case, to choose the solution with the least norm. Well, when the solution is not unique, there are infinitely many solutions, we know. When a system of linear equation has more than one solution, it has infinitely many solutions. Among all these solutions, we would like to choose a solution that has the smallest norm, or the smallest length. When the solution is unique, we can solve x like we did in the first part of 6.4. So now let's consider only the case that solution is not unique. And let's find the solution that has the least norm. So there are many solutions. We can find one arbitrary solution, one solution of ax equal to w, and let's call it v. And uh, let's say we have found another solution, that's v1. v1 is another solution. Both v and v1 satisfy the equation ax equal to w. So we have av equal to w, av1 equal to w. If we subtract the first equation from the second, this is what we get. On the right hand side we get a zero vector and on the left hand side we combine the two terms into one, we get a v1 minus v equal to zero. What does this mean about v1 minus v? This vector would be a vector in a particular subspace, right? What subspace is that? v1 minus v, if we call it u, this u vector is in the null space of A. Now if we move v to the, this side and u to the other side, we get v written in this form. v is equal to v1 minus u. This u vector is a vector from the null space of A. 
if we consider the norm of V, that would be the norm of V1 minus U, and this U is a vector in the null space of A. V1 is given to us. If we want to minimize the norm of V, that would be the same as saying that we would like to find a vector in the null space of A so that this is a minimum. How should we choose this u? u vector is a vector in the null space of A. v1 is some vector given to us. The optimum u will be the orthogonal projection of v1 in the null space of A. So how can we find the least norm solution v? The least norm solution V can be obtained by starting from a solution of a x equal to w, and then we subtract from V1 the orthogonal projection of V1 on the null space of A. The least norm solution V is v1 minus the orthogonal projection of v1 on the null space of a an example suppose a is this th 4 by 3 matrix and b is this vector we would like to find x so that x minus b is a minimum all right if ax equal to b is consistent then mm, we can simply find solution that solve this system of linear equation then this minimum would be zero so let's first check whether this system is consistent or not so we form the augmented matrix a b and we check the reduced ratio form and we see that it has a row of this form zero 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 two so it's inconsistent so it's inconsistent then how can we find the x so that this is a minimum the x that would minimize this quantity will simply be the choice of x such that ax is the orthogonal projection of b on the column space of a so this is what x should be. x is such that ax equal to w, w is the orthogonal projection of b vector on the column space of a. Let's first out, let's first find out what w is. w is the orthogonal projection of b on column space of a, so we can compute it by if we have the orthogonal projection matrix p cow a. And we have talked about how we can find the orthogonal projection matrix. If we have an orthonormal basis, then we can simply use BB transpose. We find we use the orthonormal basis to form a matrix B, and uh, P cow B will simply be BB transpose. But if we don't have an orthonormal basis to start with, we can start. We can use an a basis, a regular basis. So, how can we find a basis for the column space of A? We use linearly independent columns that span the column space of A, right? And if we look at the reduced row echelon form, we know the column vectors of A that can span the column space of A, right? For example, we see that the first two columns are linearly independent from REF. So we can choose the first two columns to form a basis for the column space of A. So let's see to be A1, A2, the first two columns of A, then the orthogonal projection matrix can be written in this form and w would be the orthogonal projection matrix and b product and if we work out the number this is the vector 
if we have matrix A and we have the vector W, we can solve the system of linear equation and obtain the general solution. Here is the general solution. A vector plus three free variable x3 and uh, the vector minus 3, 2, 1. There are infinitely many solutions. How can we choose the solution that has the least norm? We know the least norm solution can be obtained by starting from a solution v1 and subtract from e1 the orthogonal projection of e1 and the null space of a. If we choose x3 to be 0, then this term goes away and one solution would be simply this vector. So let's choose that one as v1. Now, we need to subtract from v1 this term. For this one, we need the orthogonal projection matrix for null space of A. To have the orthogonal projection matrix, we need to have a basis. A basis for the null space of A. And we know a basis for null space of A already, don't we? We have it right here. This will be a, null, a basis for null space of A. The general solution for AX equal to zero will be this vector here, the same as this one. And if we normalize the vector, it will be an orthonormal basis for, for now A. We only need to do normalization because there's only one vector here. So we normalize it to a unit vector. P now A can be obtained by using QQ transpose. And now we can have the product P now A V1 and subtract from V1. Then we get the least norm solution. Here it is.